Welcome to our demo video on how to complete the organization based KYC process on the eMudra portal if the applicant and the authorized signatory are the different. Let's get started. Visit our website imudradigital.com. Select the user type as organization. Select certificate type and validity that is required. Click on buy certificate. You will then be redirected to a browser page where you will need to log in using the applicant mobile number. Enter mobile number under buy or renew digital signature certificates as a new user. Click on get OTP and OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number. Enter the same and click on authenticate and proceed. Please note the number used in this step will be considered for the KYC account that will be created. For this video, we will be selecting the government organization without GST where applicant and authorized signatory are different. Now, click on the check box available below GSTI and number field and select the organization type. Next, enter your organization name, PIN code and click on proceed. Select the check box stating GSTIN is not applicable or available. Enter the address Click on Next. Now, under Authorized Signatory Details, enter the Signatory PAN number and click on Proceed. Enter the name, Organization Unit or Department to which the signatory belongs, Employee ID. If Employee ID is not available, you may select the checkbox below. Enter the mobile number, date of birth, and email ID of the signatory. Select the gender and click on Next. Next, under DSC Applicant Information, enter email ID of the applicant and click on Next. Now it's time to upload your documents. Start by uploading your photo in JPG format, followed by a copy of authorized signatory proof in PDF format and ID proof of the authorized signatory in PDF format as well. Once everything is uploaded, click on Submit. Upon successful submission, you will receive an application ID and signatory may proceed to complete the credentials setup step. An email with the link would have been sent to the signatory email ID. Click on track and expedite. Enter mobile number under buy or renew digital signature certificates as a new user. Click on get OTP. An OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number and enter the same. Click on authenticate and proceed. Now, you will be redirected to the track application page. Click on verify mobile number. Create a unique username and a user pin of 6 characters. Click on get email OTP. An OTP will be sent to the registered email ID and mobile number. Please note, if you want to change the email ID, the same can be done in the above step. Enter the email OTP. Next click on get mobile OTP. Enter the mobile OTP and click on Submit. You will then be redirected to the video verification page where the video needs to be completed within 45 seconds. Now, click on Start Recording to start the verification process and read the instructions mentioned on the page. I am Pooja, applied for DSC with eMudra. 916 is the code for the video. This is my authorization letter and this is my ID proof. Once you have shown all the necessary documents and completed a 45-second recording, the recording will stop automatically. Now, you can preview the video to ensure that both the video and audio have been captured properly. If everything is correct, click on Submit. If not, click on Record again to redo the process. Once the video recording is completed, you will be redirected to the payment page where you will be required to complete the payment for the digital signature certificate. Your billing details like your email ID, address will be automatically fetched in the required field. Enter the GSTIN details, if available, and if not select no. Now click on proceed to pay. After the payment is completed, the authorized signatory account will be validated by eMudra within 30 minutes, after which you need to sign the e-sign agreement. Upon successful validation and approval from eMudra, you will receive an email containing a link to complete the subscriber agreement. Click on Login and e-sign subscriber agreement option. 
Under track or download your digital signature certificate, enter the username and PIN created during the application process and click on Login. Enter the registered mobile number and click on Get OTP. Next, enter the OTP. Select the consent and click on Validate. Now you will be redirected to the Subscriber Agreement page. Go through the e-sign agreement and click on the consent. Select Agree and e-sign option. Once the organization KYC account is activated, the applicant will receive an email to complete the pending process. Click on Complete KYC option. Enter the mobile number under Buy or Renew Digital Signature Certificates as a new user. Click on Get OTP. An OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number. Enter the same and click on Authenticate and Proceed. Next, enter the applicant PAN number and click on Proceed. Enter the applicant's name, organization unit or department to which the applicant belongs. If employee ID is not available, you may select the checkbox below. Enter date of birth. Select the gender and click on Next. Now it's time to upload your documents. Start by uploading your photo in JPG format, followed by a copy of PAN card in PDF format and ID proof of the applicant in PDF format as well. Once everything is uploaded, click on Submit. Upon successful submission, you may proceed to complete the credentials setup steps. Create a unique username and a user pin of 6 characters. Click on Get OTP. An OTP will be sent to the registered email ID. Enter the OTP and click on Submit. You will then be redirected to the video verification page where the video needs to be completed within 45 seconds. Now, click on Start Recording to start the verification process and read the instructions mentioned on the page. Like, I am Shivaraj, applied for DSC with Imudra. 0 to 7 is the code for the video. This is my PAN card and this is my ID proof. Once you have shown all the necessary documents and completed a 45-second recording, the recording will stop automatically. Now, you can preview the video to ensure that both the video and audio have been captured properly. If everything is correct, click on Submit. If not, click on Record again to redo the process. Once the applicant has completed the video verification, an authorized signatory is required to complete the approval of applicant. The authorized signatory would have received the track and expedite over email, click on the same. Under Track or Download Your Digital Signature Certificate, enter the username and PIN created during the application process and click on Login. Enter the registered mobile number and click on Get OTP. Enter the OTP and select the consent. Click on Validate. Now you will be redirected to the organization dashboard page. Under Manage KYC, select Requests under Actions. Click on Process. Under Quick Actions, click on Approve. Click on Get OTP. An OTP will be sent on the signatory registered mobile number. Enter the same. Enter the signatory PIN and remarks. Next, click on Approve. Once the account is verified by the signatory, the application will be validated by eMudra within 30 minutes, after which you need to sign the e-sign agreement. Upon successful validation and approval from eMudra, you will receive an email containing a link to complete the subscriber agreement. Click on Login and e-sign subscriber agreement option. Under Buy or Renew Digital Signature Certificate, enter the registered mobile number and click on Get OTP. Enter the OTP and click on Authenticate and proceed. Under Track and Expedite, click on the Verify eSign option, which will redirect you to the eSign agreement. Go through the eSign agreement, click on the Consent, and select Agree and eSign option. This will redirect you to the next page where you can check and download the application form. Also, set the challenge code or the download password, which will be used for downloading the digital signature certificate. Thank you for watching.